What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, listen, it's back again. Man, it's story time, man. It's story time, man. It's story time, man. Oh, man, as you can tell from the title, this is one that took place in, in the hole in Lancaster. Now, you know what I'm saying? I gave y'all some, some of the story about... Uh, about the ride that, you know, we get, you know, the first ride that Lancaster ever had, I was in. The very first ride, major uh, black and Mexican ride that they ever had, I was in. It was um, it was in when I was in Lancaster, the first one they had. But anyway, so um, when we end up getting to the hole, we end up getting to the hole, we back there. So now I already told y'all about how how the police was pitting us against each other. How we had how we had to go to the yard and get down and fight and, and do all this so crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? How they take uh they they was coming down the tier, you know, finding out. Then they they'd take two Mexicans out, then they'd take two blacks out, or they'd take two blacks out, then two Mexicans. Police from the administration on down. They lined up eating popcorn and you know what I'm saying? When we walk, we walking past them going to the, you know, going out there to get down. They looking at us, they sizing us up. Like we was on the auction block at at a uh, at a slave port or something, you know what I'm saying? Like they want to see our teeth to see if uh we was good slave stock, you know what I'm saying? I told you about the time, oh oh oh, beat up ugly white woman. I was when I was walking past her, gonna gonna look at me, talk about, can you really fight good? Man, I, man, I looked at that old bat man, but anyway, so um, you remember the video I did where I was saying. I hit I, uh, I I I hit a fool I hit this Mexican dude hard as I could, and I say remember I told you I say he ate it he ate it I say ooh they skull got to be about that thick he ate it damn until he fell back on the fence he came back up you know what I'm saying I, I told y'all about how when they start shooting at bus notice with the block gun wow when I caught that one in the neck I was like oh that's it lay down you know lay down. They had just, they had just not too long before that, if I can remember right, they had not too long before that, they had just stopped, they had just shot the homie with the Mini 14. They shot the homie Big Stacks from Raymond on the yard when he was out, when he was out there getting, uh, one of the days when he was out there getting down. Um, I told y'all about how he didn't want to get out when they bust the block gun twice. He didn't want to get out. He did not want to get out on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Stax was a real soldier. He wanted to get down. So, um, they end up shooting him, man. They hit the homie in the shoulder with that mini 14. And I told y'all about how we went crazy. And after that, we took over the whole tier. Man, we threw piss, doo-doo, uh, shaving cream, well, anything. Whatever we could throw on the police we was throwing it on the police. Man, it got to the point to where I told y'all about how we couldn't even get fed unless we had to go. The police was coming down the tier with a big old giant plastic see-through shield that two of them got to take like this here and slide down the tier that had an open, a open slot. When they get to our cells, they like they look in and they tell, you, they tell you one time, turn around, face the wall. Back up to the wall, face the wall. And if you didn't do it, they was going to slide right on past your cell. We wasn't getting them but sack lunches anyway. But anyway, when you turn around, face the, face the wall in the back, they reach through their slot uh, and open up our tray slot and throw the sack lunches in on the floor, close it back, and slide on to the next cell. You know, I told y'all about that. Uh, you know, I told eventually we went on a, on a hunger strike. <laughs> Boom. But anyway, uh... I'm 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 going further with it because now I, when I say I told y'all about the first fight with um with I don't even know I don't even I don't even know who the little essay was but anyway you know it was just like when they would send us to the yard in Corcoran shoe and you know with, with the little gladiator fights you know what I'm saying they let us get out if it was if it was somebody out there they didn't like it was a target they go ahead and shoot them real quick and whatever whatever lay us down bring us back in. 10 days CTQ, right back out there to fight again. You know, 
Man, that was some white man. Boy, look at it. It was some wild times. There was some wild times. <laughs> man, you got the nerve. You got the nerve. Man, I'm just thinking, man. I'm just thinking a person got the nerve to jump on this internet <laughs> and tell me about <laughs> what they did. Cause they cause they just carried a knife. But anyway, um, so uh after after you know what I'm saying, going through all that, after I had to fight with the essay that ate the blow, boom. I remember they put me in a single man cell. Cause I was I was man, I was causing ruckus. They they were sick of me, man. They were sick of me. Um, but they knew they knew I was calling I was I was calling the shots for the homies that was when we was in Black Den lockup. I was you know, I was calling the shot for the Crips. Um the homie uh, Mad Blood from um Lincoln Park, San Diego, he was calling shots for the bloods. But anyway, they took me, put me downstairs in a single man cell with a big old thick door. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no door with them all them little holes no more. No. They put me behind a thick door. Like, now, we need to isolate you. Which it didn't, it didn't stop nothing. Cause um I had I had the little homie uh duck from Trey Five Cell in the cell. I was in I was in the last cell in the boom. And as the wall turns and go this way, the first cell was the homie duck from uh Trey Five Cell. A rider, good little homie, good little homie. You know what I'm saying? He had I remember he had almost got shot. On the yard when the when the ride when the first when the first ride kicked off on the yard when the first ride kicked off on the yard um when they put it up with the busting on us busting on us we had to all get down I remember I told you I remember looking up I'm seeing the homie Duck Duck a little bitty dude man Duck ain't no more than about man Duck might be about five foot four five foot five at the most little bitty dude with the heart of a lion man. With the heart of a line, you know what I'm saying, G homie, you know, and um, he was he was fighting two Mexicans. They was up against the wall, boom, 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 and so the police went to busting with the mini, boom, boom. I'm seeing chunks like this get knocked out the wall, boop, boop, right by them, but they slide down the wall, bumping. Uh, I um, I remember, I remember hollering from the ground, cuz get down, get down, get down. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> I don't ever want to see none of my people hit, or, you know, hit with that mini. Cuz, get out, get out, get out. So finally, you know what I'm saying? They all went to the float. They all went to the ground. So anyway, on to the, on to the, to what I'm trying to get to. So now listen. After I was, after I did my little, my little, my little time in the cell where I couldn't go back to the yard no more, when I got around to being able to go back to the yard, go to the yard again. Went to the yard again. And um I remember I never forget when the police came to my cell. The police was like, uh, you going to the yard? Yeah, I'm going to the yard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the yard. So okay. Now, this was right toward the end of uh of us really just going at each other back there in that hole. Cause um every day, every, I'm talking about every day, the gate opened up. Man, homies was coming in the lockup. Cause it was that, cause you know they went to war on the yard. Man, homies was coming in the lockup. Mexicans coming in the lockup. Sometime a homie bandaged up. Sometime a Mexican was bandaged up. But they we, they coming in every day. They coming in every day. So um, they was they was rocking. They was rocking out there on their yard on their main line. Man, they was doing they they was doing they thug thistle. You feel me? So um, when we back there, when we back there in the thing. When the police asked me that time, you going to the yard? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the yard. I'm like, okay, well, cool. Now, it was one essay back there. He had a big mouth. Oh, he used to woo, 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 woo. And for some reason, he used to key in on me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't that hard. But now the reason, I'm going to tell you, the reason he had keyed in on me is because I used to woof too, homie. I used to whoop, man, out there sale, man, I used to whoop, but see the cold part about it, I wasn't no sale soldier, but I, you know what I'm saying, I, I was, I, I, I was so mad at, at, uh, at, at the opposition that I, you know what I'm saying, you know, man, fool y'all, whoop, 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 and you know, F this, F that, F this, F that, y'all this, y'all this, whoop, 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 you know what I'm saying, that's one of the things that blacks, have, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in general, had a problem with, we love to talk, we love to do this, you know what I'm saying, the Mexicans, they didn't do all that. They, you know what I'm saying? When it's time for them to go, they're going to go. They ain't finna do a whole lot of this. Anyway, 
I used to like, man, what, man, food, this, woo, 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 you know, anyway, so this one Mexican, he act like, boy, he didn't like me, oh, he didn't, didn't none of them like me, but boy, he didn't like me, he didn't like me, man, he didn't like me, so I'm like, all right, when they come to my cell, asked me, was I gonna go, I know, it was a, uh, it was a black cell next to me, um, the other cell was, if I can remember, next to me was, uh, if I can remember right, I think uh, the homie Ike, Ike Battle from Great, and I think the homeboy, I, I think the homie Psych, uh, Psycho from Harlem. Then it was the, then, then it was the cell, the Damascus in the cell next to them. So now I'm knowing when they asked me, was I gonna go to the yard? And I say, yeah. They had to find one more black because I was just out. They had me in a single man cell. Then they had to, uh, they was going to skip the black cell next to me and they was going to go holler at, at the Mexicans. Now that's that one big Mexican that was down there. He was talking about, yeah, we're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see. All right, all right, we're going to see. So anyway, when they came to my cell that morning, they like, uh, you go, uh, you going this, you going to the yard? I'm like, yeah, y'all know I'm going. Yeah, of course I'm going. Okay, so cool. They skip, they skip the homie cell next door, but they didn't go to the Mexican cell next door to them. They went upstairs. But now when they went upstairs, they went up, uh, they went up to uh these other Mexican cell. It was this one mess, these two Mexicans, but I knew the but the one of them that stood out to me, because he was kind of tall. You know, he's like like six feet. And um, I'm like, I used to always say, that's a tall Mexican right there. But anyway, so um we go to the yard first. They they went and found they went and found another homie. What's cuz name? He from uh, West Boulevard. He hadn't too long came into the lockup. You know what I'm saying? From getting down on the yard. He had just came back there. So when uh once he did uh the what he had to go through and then get cleared for him to go to the yard, he didn't have no selling neither. So they went to him. You go in the yard, like, yeah, he's gonna go. We go to the yard. I remember they get me first, then they get him. They bring him to the yard. I'm like, what's up, cuz? All right, homie. So, boom. So, in my mind, I'm like, you know, yeah, here it goes. So, now I'm talking to him. I'm like, yeah, come in. We finna whoop these fools. You know, we finna whoop. You know, do this and that. Dude. He like, that's what's up, cuz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, boom. So, now I turn around. Here come the Mexicans. So, now I see the tall Mexican. I'm like, man, that's that tall Mexican. I used to see him when he used to go to the shower. I'm like, that's the tall Mexican right there. So, boom. So, I tell the homie. I say, cuz. I say, I got the tall one. He like, all right, I got the other one. Man, so... When they brought us out, we stick our hands back through there. Boom. They let the cuffs go. They, they open up the cuffs. Now, they told us, man, y'all back up. Go back back up over there by the handball wall. We had to go way back by the handball wall. So we back up. Bang. So now the police was doing this, to, like I told y'all before, to get them time for them to get in. They didn't want you know, us to be standing right there. Then they let them in. They still cuffed. And we do the ooh-wee with them. No, back up. So now I look up, you know, they got the two, they got the two block guns. Then they got the mini 14. They waiting. So we knew, like I said, we knew that once we go to getting down, uh, they going to bust, they going to bust twice with the block gun. Boom, boom. You got to listen for that. So now once the block gun bust twice, they going to give you a warning. They going to let you know, all right, the next one's live. They either going to tell you the next one's live or the next one's hot. If you still getting down, they finna hit you with that mini. You know what I'm saying? Them long shells. So, boom, when they came in, they came straight at us. Wasn't no talking. Wasn't no, no if, ands, or buts. I only had them two fights back there. So, boom, when they come, I square I square with the tall Mexican. We locking up. We locking up. Boop, 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 boop. We locking up. We get, you know, we, we doing our thing. So, as we doing our thing, I see the homie over there. The homie, they, they, they getting down. He, they getting down. They over there. They bumping. They going at it. Boom, 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 boom. So now, the cold part about it, man, the police gonna let us fight a little bit because they won't, man. I, I swear, I don't know if it, I don't know if the ward was watching this, <clears throat> but I know it's a lot of big wigs from administration would come down and watch it because because they were filming it too. Because after they would film us. They take the film back up in the cube and watch it, man. How you see him up there eat popcorn, doing all type of stuff. He, he, and ha, ha. Homie get knocked out. When I say homie, I'm talking about if, if you know, person out there that's bumping, whether they black or Mexican, get knocked out or dropped or kicked or whatever. They, the police up there, he, he, ha, ha, I'm like a big dog, you know? So, um, me and the tall Mexican, 
We going at it. We just going at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The homie from West Boulevard, he they over there, boop, 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 boop. I, I remember one time seeing it because they had, they had grabbed each other and they had fell to the ground, punching and kicking. So now I guess after the police done let you know watch us put on the show for for a certain amount of time now they they come to get down get down break it up get down get down now the homie from west boulevard was really already on the ground him and the, him and the mexican was rolling around me and this tall mexican we just exchanging blows you know what i'm saying typical fight ain't no thing and we just fighting you know knowing what we got to do he don't know me i don't know him but this is the program you know you you got you got you got to perform you got to do your thing so we just out there exchanging blows. And um, when they said, get out, get out, I heard the first blow. Poof. Now I remember, now y'all remember, when I was out there bumping the first time and they poof, hit shot me in my goddamn neck with that block gun. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no direct hit. It hit the ground and bow, come up. I'm like, ooh, we, you know what I'm saying? The skin is tender. God dang, you know? But anyway, Boom, we see, we, 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 we see the, we, I mean, we hear the first shot, boom, we still locking up, we hear the second shot, boom, that's when the police holler, the next one, the next was hot, the next was live, the next was live, you hear the clack, clack, ooh, ooh, so, you know, boom, 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 we back up off each other, now, the homie from West Boulevard and the other little essay, they done, they done, they done let each other, they done rolled apart from each other, they, they 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 on the ground. They stretched out. Me and this tall masking, we done backed up off each other. We still both deed up, but we looking at each other. We looking at each other. So when the when the police say, man, the next was live, the next was hot. I you know, when we back, we looking, I'm like, shoot, man, what, what you know what I'm saying? I, hey, shoot, man, I'm finna, you know, you know, I let him know, man. I'm finna, you know, I ain't I, I didn't want to get hit with the mini, so I went down a little bit, he went down a little bit. I went down a little bit more, he went down a little bit more. We was both making sure that we wasn't going to bounce back up off that ground and come at each other again. Because you know what I'm saying? And that back then, you know, we see that happen a, a 50 million times. So when you know, he, he, I seen his hands hit the ground, my hands hit the ground, we stretched on out. But you know, you know, made sure we had a certain amount of distance between us. So boom, we stretch on out, we get out, the police run in, cuff us up, cuff us up, cuff us up, cuff us up. And um, they bring us on in. This is the funny part to me, man. When we coming back in the block, the police, they, they, they dog walking me down to my cell, getting me back to my cell. You know, homie, now, if you was on that back wall, you can go to your window and you can see through the window straight to the yard. You can see the whole fight. If you're on this tier over this side or this tier on this side, you can't really see it. But I'm quite sure, you know, homie's giving play by play, you know, or whatever. So, uh. I remember when I was coming back in, you know, homies hollered, Cub, man, too, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, man, it ain't no thing, homie. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all going out there handling your business, you know, program as usual. Man, I'm coming. I'm, they walking me down the floor because I'm on the first floor. As I get close to my cell, um, the homie duck from Trey Five Cell, me holler out the cell. He like, he like big homie too, cuz. You handle your business. You get out, cuz. You handle your business. I'm, so I'm walking. I'm cuffed up, hands in back of me. I'm walking, and I'm, I, you know, I'm talking. I'm talking. We coming past these cells, you know. So uh, I holler, tell him, I'm like, yeah, come in. You know, I get out for my homie. You know, I get out. <laughs> it, it was the one big essay that was it is two cells down from me. Man, this man, he, uncharacteristic of them, but he get on the door. <laughs> man, this was some of the funniest things. He get on the door. And he like, he like, he say, like, yeah, big old, uh, what do you call me? Big old punk or something. He say, homie, he talk about, you can't fight this, eh? <laughs> if it had been me, I would have beat your cool old homes. <laughs> I look, I, bro, I'm walking by, but I'm looking, I walk by. Man, I laugh so hard about that. Man, that man could told me if it would have been him. He would have beat my culo. <laughs> culo. I'm like, all right, man. Now, you know, once you sit in prison long enough, you hear that talk all day long. So that's where you really get your, you know, your rudimentary 
basis of learning Spanish because you hear it all day. You know, a lot of homies come out to pen. They, you know, they got a pretty good grip on, 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 on Espanol because we hear it all the time, you know? So anyway, man, that man told me he would have beat my culo. Man, that, that, it, it ain't funny, that, but it was, man, that was so funny to me. It was funny to me, man. Told me he would have beat my culo. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, man, um, after that, after that, when I, that's how I was telling you about when, um, I never forget this one essay. I'm going to put his name out there. His name was Sharky. I told y'all about it. Sharky got at me. And that's when, um, basically, we came together and agreed that we finna fight the police. We wasn't finna fight each other. We finna fight the police. Because, you know, the way they was giving us our yard, we tried to segregate it ourselves and go and, like, you know, go this day. Then they go. Then they go. Po police didn't like that. Y'all know the police messy. Police gonna always keep up a bunch of mess. They the real problem, for real. They were the real problem, for real. So, um... Um, they chopped our yard down to three days and then tried to make us beef about the three days and all that. Anyway, cooler heads prevailed. We got at each other. We like, man, you know, let's take it to them. That's when I told you about we um we kicked off mad the mad cell extraction. They start they started cell extracting us at six o'clock that night. Six o'clock Sunday night. It was a Sunday. Never forget it. Six o'clock Sunday night. The goon squad come up in there with some long pole. Hoo, 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 hoo. And um, they start cell extraction at 6 o'clock. When the cell extractions ended, it was 6 o'clock Monday morning. It took them all night. We made them extract every SA cell and every black cell. You know what I'm saying? Crip or blood. Now, of course, it was a few blacks back there that didn't have, that, you know, didn't have none of the day. They were from up north. Dudes out of Frisco, Oakland or somewhere. They didn't want nothing to do with it. All right, cool. I was used to that. Um, couple of brothers, couple of other brothers back there that just like, you know, not affiliates, then they was like, man, you ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, I was I'm used to that, you know. So anyway, um, the whites did they the whites, you know, I told you before, the whites, they didn't have nothing to do with it, but it was a couple of white boy cells got out, man. I remember this one white boy cell, he put them paws on the police jaws when they run up in there on him, you know. Though a lot of y'all be like, man, what was the long stick for? It was a long pole, man, about about 10 feet long. And they had a stick come out here on this side, this side, you know, going back to where they could stagger. And what they would do is when the tray slots opened up, they would stick that, you know, the stick, it looked like a, a human battering ram. It was long and it had a long head on it about this long, like a, like a hammerhead shark. And what they would do, once the tray slots opened up, they would stick that in there and boom, ran it, boom, 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 to knock us back out the way. Because a lot of times we we posted up, we might have that, you know, we got that mattress up for a shield. You know, we got whatever type of little weapon we done made and we waiting for them to try to come in. So what they would do, they would stick that in there. It's like eight police, come, you know, got it and they wham, wham. Once they knock us back, they shooting the mace in there. Or they throwing them little bomb canisters, or whatever, up in their owners. Try to, you know what I'm saying, weaken us up before they run in and put them hands on us. Because they were going to put them, you got them hands put on you that night, partner. Yeah, you knew you were finna get your ASS beat to sleep once them police got in there on you tonight, to this night. You know what I'm saying? And 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 they did, they do diligence, homie. <laughs> they ship, man, they ship. Man, after they finished cell extracting us, man, I told y'all, they shipped so many of us. They shipped some, man, we, they shot us straight back to Corcoran Shoe. We left Lancaster and went to Corcoran Shoe. i never forget, um, once I got to Corcoran Shoe, I was, I was, I was still in the cell by myself. Um, I remember this one police, i never forget this one Mexican police, man. This one Mexican police, he told me, he said, he's going to kill me. He said, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, man. He said, he used to, he used to do me like this here. Because I, I couldn't go to the yard for the first couple of days. And um going to the shower one time, he threatened me. He said, um, he said, first chance he get, he was gonna, he was gonna, you know, he was gonna he was gonna get rid of me. I'm like, you know what? You know who, you know, for what? Who is you know what? You know. But anyway, 
part of the program. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I, that's how I used to go. You know. But yeah, man, that that story is about <clears throat> was about my second fight. I had only had them two back there before we uh before we turned the tide on the police. Got directly at them, man. But um, yeah, man, look, those were the type of shenanigans that was going down all the time, man. You had to you had to go through that type of stuff, man. It's a trip, man. Mentally, it just you you look at it as another day at the funny farm. Now you got people on the street who ain't never been to prison. They can't understand that type of stuff. To them, that's just a wild animalistic life. <laughs> That's just a wild, animalistic life that we live in behind them walls, man. But now, you know, that's what they do, man. They try to break us down to the lowest common denominator. They try to, you know, they try to emasculate us. They try to, you know, make, make, us, make, us, make us animals. That's what they want. They want us to be animals and fight and attack each other all day, every day. But now, they put you in a position... To where you can't help but knock heads. You can't help but bump heads. Because that's what all they do. The administration. They go all day long. Thinking. What they can do. To keep us at each other. Because they know as long as we at each other. We wasn't going to be at them. And that was their main thing. Look stay up off of us. Y'all can chop, kill, bite, scratch. Eat boogers. Do whatever you're doing to each other. Just don't do it to us. And anytime it looked like it was finna be some unity and to get on their ASS, they created something to the point to where they would they, they would even lie, you know, just do little weird stuff. But anyway, like I say, hey, another day at the funny farm, man. That was that was the life we led behind them walls. Anyway, man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5'3. <laughs> I represent the gangsters, homie. I'm out. Peace.